projected. We were at 7.1% in 2000. And, and the projection was from 7.1%, we would be 10% in 2012. Now, when we dropped to 1.6%, of course, that changed dramatically. But there's one thing about strategies. This is true. Coming from the corporate world myself, you don't change targets midstream simply because they become difficult to do. I'm a firm believer that once you have a target, you must strive to achieve it at the end of the period. You can now explain. Okay, so we, we, we retain our 10% growth target, but clearly in 2012, as we go into the last financial year, we're not going to be able to achieve, to achieve 10% because of the crisis that we have faced. Um, I think the issue of the major threat is addressed, but I do want to add one thing on political goodwill and 2030 and threats to lapse it. One, one, if you look at the project under Vision 2030, they're what I refer to as no-brainers. What do I mean by that? I don't think any political figure, political party, any candidate will argue with the fact that we need a more efficient northern corridor. Right? We need more efficient Mombasa, a more efficient Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, if a brand new between Mombasa, Nairobi, and Malaba, better rail line between Mombasa, Nairobi, and Malaba, that we need more megawatts of energy. We have 10,000 megawatts of energy potential in uh, geothermal energy. No one will argue that we should actually exploit that potential. No one will argue the addition in agriculture. So really, many of the projects you have in the other vision are self-protected, intrinsically protected because of the sanity and nature of those projects. No brain. But beyond that, we, uh, the Ministry of Planning, intends to go to to present a National Planning Authority Act which will incorporate a legal framework for Vision 2030. And why do we want to do that? Because as we move into the new dispensation, in order to align the new planning, uh, planning system to the new constitution, the county system is coming into place, a National Planning Council is to be the the, the topmost organ of the National Planning Authority, which will comprise as county governors, as the principal stakeholders, so that the county stakeholders, chaired of course by the national by the president of the country, and that will incorporate Vision 2030, allowing for debate, for agitation in Parliament, and because Parliament has the representatives of the citizens of this country, so a legal framework is planned uh, for Vision 2030. Um, I think. Probably that takes care of everything else because I think everything else was covered by by my good friend. Uh, or rather, this week is a major week in terms of a major corridor project. March second again, President Mwai Kibaki, Prime Minister Raila Odinga, accompanied by President Salva Kiir and Prime Minister Meles Zenawi, launching the Lamu corridor would be a major major day for us all. And as Professor has reiterated. The first time I think African, an African nation is undertaking a corridor project of this magnitude. We open up in geography reading about the famous northern corridors in Kenya, Central Corridor in Tanzania, the Beira Corridor. All these were developed before time, before African independent governments came into place. So this is an important project. And I think it's one that must be supported by all of us. Um, in terms of political goodwill, by the way, let me say this. When you see three countries coming together, there's a reason for that. Because there's a reason why Ethiopia, South Sudan, and Kenya are coming together. It tells you that project is not, it's not just a Kenyan project. And therefore, we in Kenya can't just play around with it. It is an, a regional project. And, and for that reason, um, we will make sure that after we launch or break ground on the 2nd of March, we quickly move towards the completion of that particular project. So I hope um, some of you will be in Lamu. I hope, some, I, hope, I hope most of the questions have been answered as I hand over back to Bona Ota because we do have to. Well, on that note, I would like us to call it a day. I would not like to invite you to clap because we were not in a political rally. But once again, allow me to thank you. Uh, Mr. Mugo, as you have said, there will be a press release uh, to the second man.